does anyone else do this that when you find an item of clothing that you love you buy it in multiple colors because I have that with so many things in my closet and this shirt this like waffled patterned long sleeve shirt from Uniqlo I have in four different colors so I don't know if you guys have ever noticed that when I'm filming that I <laughs> I do have the same shirt in many colors. Anyways, that's the tangent for this video. Uh, we got the short one. We got the short one today. I'm also in a way better mood than I was when I was filming my wrap up. Cause I'm excited. I have plans tonight. I'm just excited. It's gonna, it's gonna be a good night. So anyways, February TBR. Uh, let's hit it guys. So February TBRs, for me, for TBRs, I am a mood reader, so I don't abide by like a strict TBR, but this is a way for me to be tracking what are my high priority reads. So that way, then when I'm like going through the month, these don't get lost in the shuffle of me like finding other random books that I wanna like pick up and read right away, which is fine. Like I will never keep myself to a TBR and I will never finish a full TBR probably ever, but at least this is a way for me to really track like what were my high priority reads. So we have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. I think we have eight priority reads for February. So there are a few in here that I know for sure, a hundred percent without a doubt, I will get to some other ones. We'll see how the month goes. So first up, one that I will for sure, excuse me, cat hair getting stuck to my mouth. Ugh. Mm. I always get so much cat hair stuck to my face. Um, for sure, we'll be reading Crescent City, House of Sky and Breath by Sarah J. Moss. This is a new release this month. It is being released. Is it like February 15th? Gosh, sorry. I just, <laughs> now my nose is itching from the cat hair, but I don't want to mess up my makeup. I need to keep it intact for tonight. Very excited for this. A highly anticipated release for me this year. Um, do I remember once that happened in the first Crescent City book? Mm, no, but I know some people have posted like reviews and kind of like refreshers that I'm going to watch before I read, but I'm so excited for, about this. Y'all know Throne of Glass is one of my all-time favorite series. Akatar is literally in like my top favorite series of all time. <laughs> um, I love Bryce. I'm really, really drawn to Sarah J Maas's female protagonists and Bryce is no different. So I'm really excited to see how this all unfolds in book two. Although, however, it's gonna be sad when we get this one and then it's like, okay, now how many more years do we have to wait for the next one? That's the bummer thing of being caught up on series is having to wait in between. I'm an impatient bitch. I will be getting this on release day. Next, another book that I will for sure be reading this month is Normal People by Sally Rooney. Some friends and I started a book club again this year. So it was one of my friend's turns. We did like a random number generator who got to pick first. And she gave us three options. It was this one, Verity and Addie LaRue. I've already read both the other twos, but no one else had except for one other person who read Addie LaRue. So we ended up going with normal people. Um, I'm excited. I don't know anything about this, honestly. I know I've seen it around on TikTok before, but it had never been one that I was like that interested in. Mostly because like y'all know my typical reading over here. It's not like a lot of contemporaries, unless if there's some, you know, mm -hmm, on it. So, you know, I don't know, I'm excited. Yeah, the cover's pretty cool. Honestly, this is like a canvas idea if there's any cool quotes in here. So yeah, we'll see. Also, I have these marks cause like I kind of mapped out how many chunks we would need to read. We'll see, um, I haven't started it yet, but I do need to get into it because we have our first meeting on Sunday and I haven't read. So we'll get into that one. Hey, oh, one that I'm already started on is Hunting Adeline by H.G. Carlton. This is the second book in the cat and mouse duet. So you do have to read the first one. It's following the same characters and picks up immediately after the events of the end of the first book. So you can't go into this one without reading the first one. But so far, I'm liking it. I've seen a lot of reviews. I haven't seen any spoilers or anything, but I've seen a lot of reviews of people saying that it takes time for Addie and Zayd to be reunited, which I'm kind of excited excited for like I'm fine with them having some time apart and I've also seen that it is really dark like darker than the first book which the first book was dark but honestly like I'm trying to remember I don't remember there being anything in there that I was like too surprised by being like oh my god they're going there so I don't know I'm interested to see I know there were a lot of trigger warnings for this one um ow, <laughs> I just like 
broke my finger. I mean, that's dramatic, but kind of. There were a lot of triggers for this one. Um, I don't have any trigger warnings except for animal violence and that wasn't one listed. So I feel like I'm in the green light for this one. So yeah, I'm interested to see. The cliffhanger from the first book has been haunting me ever since I finished it. So I am very excited to see how this story plays out. I just haven't had much time to read the past couple of days, but I am a few chapters in on it and so far vibing. Next is Darling Venom by Parker S. Huntington. This is a completely new author to me, but I've seen this book going around. I've mostly seen it with like little lines of like the spice scenes but so that was like what kind of first intrigued me but then people were like why are people selling this book as being like a super spicy book when it's actually like a very serious book so i'm intrigued if i'm understanding correctly it is talked about a lot it talks a lot about mental health and certain things which I really love reading about in books and that is something that I just always kind of feel drawn and connected to. So I'm excited to see it. I think this might be kind of a tougher read for me just in terms of if I'm understanding correctly what some of the content is. I do think that it could be difficult for me to read, but I do, like I am excited to read it. And then next, so in January, I read The Words by Ashley Jade loved it five out of five stars and I was like I want to read another Ashley Jade book and then I looked Ashley Jade up on Goodreads and I had the devil on my TBR from like a long time ago like I had marked it want to read a long time ago and I honestly couldn't even tell you what it's about I have no idea and I was trying to read the blur but honestly now I've just like completely forgotten what it was even about but I do know that I just want to read another Ashley Jade book. And since this one was one that I already have had marked, I'm like, why not read this one? So I'm excited. I, if this is the one, is it not like it's like M M M F M M F M F M? Is that, is that all done? Am I wrong on all of that? I don't know. I feel like, I feel like this might be that one. So anyways, I don't know anything about it, but I just want to read another Ashley Jade book. Next, because Winter Olympics are coming up and I literally, do I have my bookmark in here still? Oh, tragic. Did I literally take it out? Okay. I think I was literally only a chapter or two in, but I want to read From Luke Off With Love by Mariana Zapata. I've been meaning to do like a Mariana Zapata reading vlog for so long because I've never read anything by her. With the Winter Olympics coming up, I'm feeling the ice skating vibe. I'm feeling the Paris figure skating. So I think I'm going to jump in first with From Luke Off With Love. I'm very excited to read this. Uh, I hear literally nothing but good things about Mariana Zapata. Everyone loves her books. I don't really ever see like a bad thing about them. So I'm excited. I want to read this one, Culty in the Wall of Winnipeg and Me. Those are like my top three from her, but I'm going to start off with this one, even though I think Culty might be the one that I'm going to like the most because that's Coach Athlete. And y'all know I am just always chasing that off balance high of the Coach Athlete trope. So we will see, but I'm going to start off with this one. I just, I feel like it'll be a good February read, good wintry vibes. And then is this my last one? I, oh no, two more, two more. Um, Fifty Shades of Grey by wait oh my god why can't I remember her name I was about to say by Dakota Johnson but that's literally not it is it our no what is her name 50 shades of E.L. James E.L. James um I have never read 50 shades of gray I was in high school I was maybe a freshman in high school I think when these were like really first making the rounds and becoming really really popular maybe I was even in eighth grade but I remember some people had like gotten their hands on them and would talk about them. But again, like, I don't know. I don't ever remember like being interested in reading it. And then once I got into reading romance, I just have never gone back to read them. And I've read the Bard to You series by Sylvia Day, which I think is like kind of comparable a little bit. But nonetheless, I've never read Fifty Shades of Grey. And I feel like I've missed out because I feel like that is just a staple. So I don't know, I wanna try reading it and I'm gonna do a reading vlog reading Fifty Shades of Grey. I'm only gonna do the first one for now. If I end up liking it, I'll keep going, but if not, I'm not gonna force myself to read the whole series just for the sake of a vlog because we're just not doing that. We're avoiding reading slumps as much as possible in 2022. I, I love the movies. The movies are such like a, they're such a joy. They really are. They are a treasure. They are a national treasure. So I'm excited to finally read the book. 
Um, so yeah, I'm gonna do that in February. Again, I just feel like February vibes. I think because of like Valentine's Day, I connect that with like 50 Shades of Grey. So that's why we're gonna do that in February. And then just completely switching gears here. The last book, I'm actually gonna go try to pick it up tonight. I think it's in stock at my Barnes and Noble right now. So I'm gonna go and try to get it tonight. Um, that is Avicii, his biography that just came out in January. Again, another anticipated release for me in 2022. I talked about this in my most anticipated releases. I loved Vici so, so, so much. He was one of my favorite artists, one of the artists that got me into dance music and just like an absolute legend. And I, one of the like two celebrity deaths that stand out in my mind that like I felt like hurt, like I felt like it was like a personal blow you know, hearing that he died. Like, I still remember where I was when I heard that he died. So anyways, all that aside, um, his biography. I'm really, really excited to read it. It sounds like the author took, the, took a lot of time to interview people and really, like, immersed himself into Avicii's life and, like, what it was like for him. And I'm, I'm very, very excited. I'm also very, very sad to, like, be reading it because I'm just still like sad that he's gone. And I read the like test chapters uh, on Amazon or like on Barnes and Noble that were released and I was already getting all sad. So I think it's gonna make me sad, but I'm very excited to read it. So I'm gonna go try to pick it up tonight. Okay, that is my February TBR. Again, these are like pretty quick videos. I don't know like how, do you guys even like quick videos? Do you like long videos? All my other videos tend to be long. But these ones are nice and short, so they're kind of nice to film because they are Sorry for the little change in setup. Someone knocked at my door and I panicked. So I quickly put away all my stuff. I don't know why, guys. I don't, I don't. When other, someone knocks at my door, I think that I am about to be true crimed. So anyways, I'm pretty sure it was just the mailman. But nonetheless, I wasn't going to get my stuff back out after I just panicked, put it all away. So anyways, that's it for today's video. And I will see you when I see you.